Good day, you're watching African Free Press Television. My name is Sam Adedu Nkubu, bringing you the news today. First, the headlines. Government to build ranches and grazing reserves. Imo government suspends school principals over alleged extortion. Polani Pepun challenges Obasanjo to name so-called cabals. Police invade Gibrin's office and cart away with documents. Ronaldo's plane crashes in Barcelona. Now the news in detail. Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Engineer Babachir David Lawal, on Thursday said that the government was going ahead with the decision to establish ranches and grazing reserves across the country as a solution to the incessant clashes between Fulani cattle rearers and local farmers. He made the remark while receiving a delegation of Tabita Paluka and Judy Jam Foundation by led its chairman Alaji Abdul Bali in Abuja. Lawal, in a statement by Director of Press in the office of the SGF, Polaji Adebiyi, also noted that the nomads from outside Nigeria have migrated into the country and have been the ones perpetrating most of the crimes in the farmland. He assured that the government will do the needful to enlighten Fulani herdsmen on how to make cattle rearing more profitable by utilizing the ranches and reap other social and political benefits that short settlements will offer. The foundation, he said, was set up to look into the problem of clashes between the Fulani cattle rearers and farmers. The Imo state government has suspended some secondary school principals in the state for indulging in collection of illegal fees from parents. The Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Mrs. Gertrude Ego Oduka, stated this in a release. The Commissioner also directed the suspended principals to hand over relevant documents in their possessions to their subordinates. According to the release, the principal of the community secondary school, Orogwe Mr. Gabriel Nwogu, of the senior section of the principal of the government te technical college, Oweri, Mr. Godwin A. Nwaimo, of the senior section, were suspended for extortion of money from parents and guardians, thereby causing pains and hardship to them. She also announced the immediate suspension of Mr. Aijinos Amechi, the principal of senior section of Emmanuel College, Uweri, for the collection of cutlasses, brooms, and tissue papers from the students. However, the commissioner said that more names of principals who had been found culpable will soon be released. Illegal luminary Chief Wolea Nikwekun has challenged the former president Chief Ulushe Gorbasanjo to be bold enough to mention the, cap the cabal he said bought some of the nation's assets which were sold in the previous administration. He said this yesterday at the commission of the vice chancellor's lodge, which he and his wife donated to Ajayi Crowder University, or your the former president had backed the sales of some national assets, but also the federal government must ensure that they are not bought by the same cabal. Olani Bekun said, and I quote, Chief Olusegun Gwambasanjo is our former president. He knows so much, he should tell Nigerians who he referred to as cabal. He said this just as he advised the President Muhammadu Buhari led administration to stop blaming the unimpressive economic situation of previous administration but should justify the mandate Nigerians gave him in the last election by elevating the suffering the people are experiencing today. A combined team of security operatives on Thursday stormed the office of the suspended former chairman of the Appropriations Committee of the House of Representatives, Abdulmumin Jibrin, of the National Assembly Complex. The security team, which was made up of the policemen and members of the Sergeant at Arms, the International Security Arms of the National Assembly, stormed the office at about 2.07 p.m. and left about 3.10 p.m. There was no sign of the embattled a lawmaker, but a handful of members of the staff were seen putting together what is believed to be some of his personal effects. The security officials went away with some documents. Jibrin, in a statement he addressed to his colleagues, said since his suspension on Wednesday, he had been under intense public scrutiny and pressure to prove his allegation against the House. He demanded that any of his colleagues who was illegally taken or stolen any money meant for the running cost of the offices should return same to the public treasury within one week or risk exposure and prosecution. Jibrin said he has written to the clerk of the National Assembly to stand by in anticipation. In connection to his suspension, the spokesman for the House, Abdul Razak Namdas, has said the House acted within its rules by suspending Jibrin. Cristiano Ronaldo's plane reportedly crash landed at Barcelona airport on Monday night after the plane's landing gear broke on impact with the runway. Neither Ronaldo nor his family members were on board when the Real Madrid Stars Gulfstream G200 aircraft was reported to have suffered a landing gear problem as it touched down at Barcelona's El Prat airport. 
The incident, in which no one was hurt, resulted in one of the airport's runways being closed as emergency services dealt with the jet, which Ronaldo is believed to have bought for about 16 million euros one year ago. And that's it on the news today. My name is Sam Adedo Have a wonderful day. Thank you.